Alright, welcome back. Welcome back to Caves of Quad. <laughs> Literally the same screen we were on last time. Nice. Oh, uh, okay. Now, I've been meaning to say something for kind of a while, but I keep forgetting because I get, you know, all ready to stream or what or whatever. I completely forget what I was going to do in the first place, which is actually shout out to somebody who subscribed recently. They left a really nice message to me uh, on one of my videos, and for some reason I haven't been able to respond. The, either the comments just like missing and they got kind of like nervous and all of that. And I don't really feel like calling out their name because, you know, maybe they, just, they, they decided to leave it because they didn't feel like they wanted to be called out or draw attention to themselves. And that's fine. But hey, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I'm going to keep going for you, you know? Hopefully we can try and get these things looking good and better. Like, I want to keep going and getting improve my craft as it was hone my skills <laughs> and become the ultimate youtuber <laughs> i mean not that but you know you know try and try and make something more entertaining for everyone to watch especially you guys that have been with me from the beginning you know or well even right now we've just got 100 subscribers like not too long ago i still call this kind of a beginning you know that's at least the, that's the hope anyway to go ahead and fly. Bam! <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and land. As long as we're not on the ground for him to hit us, we should be perfectly fine to just blast away. Oh. Didn't see you. Let's go ahead and try flying one more time. Bam, yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. There's the way down. We need to go down one of these. Oh, oh. that is probably the worst possible spot to get that happen to me. So we're just going to go ahead and hope it, we can just shoot him. <laughs> oh, that was a really bad spot to be in. Okay, we're going to go down. And we're going to leave. Not going down there again. <laughs> Way too much slime. So yeah, we, we don't really want to get caught in a situation where we're trying to get to the exit and you keep slipping around and getting attacked by monsters. That's why slime kind of sucks. It's, it's not like it's as deadly as like putrescence or anything like that, but it's slippery and it's hard to get where you need to go when it's around the floor. So we're not going to bother. Oh. Well, this is... Awkward. <laughs> We're surrounded by enemies on all sides. <laughs> <It's>, oh. <laughs> and in fact, we're just going to go ahead and leave and help they kill each other. Looks like that is not the case. In fact. Okay, so instead we're just going to blast all of them. <sighs> Unfortunately, not a very good shot. Get out of here. Yeah, you better run. Jerks. Two, three. Uh, uh, not that. Freezing ray. No, oh, no, no. Boom. There we go. I didn't need a corpse. <laughs> Oops. I can. Wait, it only weighs five? I could probably just carry around a baboon corpse. What? Why? I mean. It might be useful, but why would I ever think to do that? So are they leaking water over there? What's going on? Is that, is that good water? Nah. Wait, hold on. That's a legendary. And is it a good one? Hated by crabs, loved by snap jaws. Not really worth it. Let's go ahead and space-time vortex that bad boy. Oh, darn it. Okay, space-time vortex that bad boy. Whoop. That didn't work. Okay. Off. That's kind of the problem with the space-time vortex ability. It does not open where where you want it to. It just kind of opens wherever it feels like it, you know? Freezing ray. No, unlock. There we go. Look at that, huh? Gonna go ahead and fly. And just let them deal with that for the time being. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, 
Oh, they're fighting each other. Good. Kill each other, please. In the meantime, I'm just going to freeze you both and make my way out. Ah. Oh, nuts. Let's see. Uh, she. It's almost always a she, actually. Snap jaws, hate by crabs. We're not going to... Sprint. <laughs> Too fast for you, chump. Oh. <laughs> the enemies also pursue you for very, a pretty far distance, which is kind of a problem, but not a, as huge a deal as you might think it would be. Okay, well. I seem to have made a mistake. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, plenty of ammo. We're otherwise home free, so I call that good. Let's go ahead and go downstairs, and hopefully it doesn't figure out where I am. Well, that's... Well, that's a problem. I don't have any more ammo for the musket. Okay, we are leaving then. If I don't have any more ammo, there's no reason to stick around. Unless I can freeze this jerk. And fly, because after all, we can't fly while we're underground. It kind of makes sense. I mean, it depends on how tall the ceilings are, of course, but it kind of makes sense that... that we're not able to fly underground. It, you know, there's... Oh, well, thank you, goats. I will take that opportunity you just handed me. Freezing rain. Ah. Nice. I usually handle these, you know, individual snap jaws one on one. Uh. Oh, hey, you, why are you, why are you attacking? What? Hi. Hey. Oh, you're hurt. That's why you're attacking me. There we go. Okay. Nothing good. Using freezing ray. I go, can't reload still because I don't have any ammo. <laughs> Nuts. Um, okay. Nice, nice, nice. God dog. Nice. Dogs don't seem to like the Quadazus or that guy. But I guess we're just going to ignore them. Because we need to get through here to get to that sweet, delicious copper wire. Get that. Boom! 200 feet of copper wire. We are in the money. And now I can leave. No reason to stick around here and get caught in a cave where I can't do much. <laughs> you know? Away to Joppa! And there you are. Ta-da! Elder Idruadad has stuck his inventory. So has Tam. And so has Argive. Okay. Ready to buy some Let's Legs. Perfect. There we go. Could buy some weird stuff. Copper nuggets, some more water skins. Eh, let's just buy all that stuff. Why not? Blaze injector, salve injector, muskets, pretty nice. Not super useful, though. Let's go ahead and offer one of these. Nope. Oh, sorry, not one of those. Actually, we can't wear those anymore. So we got... <laughs> Might as well offer him if we can't carry him. Hmm, thinking about it. This willowy kukri is actually... Got zero weight, meaning there's no reason to sell it right now if we don't have to. We just sell all the stuff that actually weighs junk. And then worry about that later. This crappy iron mace. Oh. Alright, now I can go hunt down our good friend. Let's see here. Argive, and see what he's got for sale. Hey, Argive! Take the wire, enjoy. And... Uh, I agree, Argive, but I actually want to trade. What do you got? Let's see here. Visored, anti-iron goggles, strangest time... You just... Make a time cube, I guess. <laughs> Not gonna happen, but okay. Hmm. What I really, really want, actually, is... I want to be able to buy... The bullets. I want to be able to buy a bullets mod. Well, not, not, not a mod, but like a tinkering recipe for bullets. I want to be able to make bullets. Because, you know, that'd be pretty useful. In fact, these shotgun shells could be pretty useful, too. 
Let's just go ahead and buy some while we're at it. Sell all these. There we go. Borderlands revolver. Don't really need that. Musket. See, the revolver is worth more than the musket is, but it's lighter. Not as effective in terms of damage, but I guess it shoots faster. You can get more than one shot at a time. It's not a very effective per bullet kind of gun, as far as I'm aware. Uber Nostrum is very nice. You know, buying honey is like a good idea. Last time we really, really badly needed honey, and I'm really glad that we had it. But while we're here, let's go ahead and just chop up some delicious fresh apple moths. There we go, and boom. I can actually make fresh apple moths if I want to. And over here. Let's see what we got. Travel to Quailic. Quailic. What is... Is that cider? That's the big old thing of cider. I'll, think... I'll collect that. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Not quite that much. Collect. No. I, I pour into some water skins. Yes. Thank you. I will take that. Pour into this water skin. Yes. There we go. I just... Huh. I'll take it, I guess. Pour into this water skin. I'll take it. Wow, that was quite for two. Wait a minute. What the? Are these all like weeps? Are they all like massive weeps just hanging out over here? Uh, and Tixie's the second to stay, inspe stay inspector. Tixie's the second to life in the events of Ant Ancient Sultan and Tixie's the second. On the night of the full moon, a bay was formed, swallowed in the corpse of a sacred, of sacred trees with its mouth full of sand. Speaking of all this antics, he's like, why would you... Oh, that doesn't look good. Eyeless crab, huh? There we go. Oh, what do we... That did not hurt it at all. How will we fly, huh? Go ahead and reload. And then we stop flying. Ah, <laughs> oh, good. I don't need the cab corpse. So I could like break it down somehow. Nah, probably not. Assemble all. Boom. Assemble all. Boom. And let's just, you know, break down all our stuff and keep going, shall we? And a little bit of cracked lens right here. Boom, boom. Go. Nice. You know, one thing I've been kind of wondering, you guys, is like, how long of an episode do you think is good? Like, I've been doing a half hour episode. I feel like it's kind of a nice, like, solid chunk of gameplay. But if you guys think it should be shorter or longer, you should let me know. Because I'm happy to try out other things, too. Why am I carrying this corpse around? Let's go ahead and. If I can carry that corpse around, I can carry more wine or whatever, too. Collect liquid. No. Let's pour this into a water skin. So I kind of farm water skins, you know? Nice. Okay, now we're going to go up. Can I make it all the way up to the six days tilt? Let's find out. Ooh. Ruins, you say? Let's leave immediately. I don't want to get stuck in the middle of the desert. Why not? Oh. Let's never come back here. That looks a lot more friendly. And we have some statues here, too. Uh, Umed the Omen Caller. From the life of the ancient Sultan Umed. Oh, wandering around the tinkerous province of Quelica, Umed II stumbled upon a clan of fungi forming a secret ritual. Because of her fortuitous vis vis visage, they accepted her into their fold and taught her their secrets. Interesting. That is a novice of the sightless way. Not really my go-to kind of character. Distracting a deal of bears, and Dixie's have convinced them to get help him found a workshop in the gambler's province of Iowan for the purpose of making jewelry inspired by token. They get into the blessed workshop. Interesting. It's a new one. Didn't know that one. There is a jerk over there. I'm gonna try and shoot. Oh, I'm not sure what I just hit there. I hit something. Come on. I wish to hit the creature. No? No? Come on. 
There we go. That's what we want to see. I'm not certain what I just shot down here, but apparently it is dead. Oh, no. Hu this uh, human was not wearing any pants. Huh. Well, take all your water, though, please. Thank you. Just got fresh water hanging out. Why not? I'll take it. Oh, it's getting dark. You know what that time it is? Time to fly. Sure. Some forgotten ruins, huh? Well, doesn't seem to be much around. A snapjaw. We can kill a snapjaw, though. I hope. <laughs> So we found a place with a lot of worth a lot of money, like an absolute heckin' ton of money. We gotta go back there and get as much as we can by buying all the water skins we can. Nearby the location of Shazor, Umed II was captured by bandage. She was murdered by their leader with a vessel of the fates made of luck. It was called, that's called the Omen Caller. Okay. Hmm. Hello. Horned chameleon, you say? Well, ice to meet you. <laughs> By kind of avoid, oh, but kind of avoiding the usual like walk through, but and just going up to the fast travel screen, we kind of skipped out on a lot of levels we could have had at this point. But it's not a huge. Oh, yeah, why not? I find a lot of. I find a ton of acid weeps, apparently. Huh. And we're gonna leave. Oh, I don't wanna go that way. Back to the six day still, please. Oh, good. We made it. <laughs> we're kinda catching up to where we were before, which I'm pretty happy about. Ah, uh, love it. Nobody likes you. Okay, gotcha. We're gonna ignore you then. How about you? Is anyone like you? No. <laughs> How about you, my friend? Uh, admired by the village of Kaikuya, love of Pariahs. Okay, it's like my robots. Or an obvious. <laughs> Admired by the villagers of Kayakuya for reprogramming their least favorite robot. It's like my robots are cooking them a rancid meal. <laughs> I am. Let's see here. Okay, lovely. Take a seat. Chew the bark with me and I'll tell you what I know. Lulu Heart, the hidden pariah. I've heard tell that my ancestral hometown, Bay Laws, is in some kind of trouble. They opened their borders for the first time I know of and are se specifically seeking to hire Kendron. That's what their word for outsiders like you. Are you willing to go see what they need? Uh, very well. I'll go to Bela as you ask. Ah, uh, bless you, friend. I feel better knowing that at least one Kendrin will reach back to aid my kin. They are on the cusp of a new fate, and I wish to see it when I, while I yet live. Uh, I will advise you to aid the Kela's location and find a chew boon for your trouble. No, no worries. Found a yonder cane. Okay, sweet. I think yonder cane tells you, teleports you around. But hey, that's, that's sweet. Okay. Speaking of which, here, let's make a tra a combination there. Robots hate me, but that's okay. Let me share a secret with you. This taste of apple bots. There, delicious, isn't it? Uh, here's the location of Ad. I don't know sure what that is. Have a have a good one. I'll be careful. Thank you. Let me tell you, it's like hot and spiny. Yum. <laughs> I guess hot and spiny is the well, the the hometown food of this place, just like how the other ones are. Like apple moss is the hometown of Jaka, is the hometown food of Joppa. No. Oh. Foodstuffs. I don't have any books thinking about. It. I need to go buy books. Uh, in 2BR, the gyre widened and the second triad of plagues afflicted the land. The legs of kith and kin annealed to iron. Darkness bloomed from the earth and the saviridium blackened the sky. The what? Our chef walked below the chrome arches and healed the sick. So, Iron Shank or whatever was part of the second curse, huh? Or the second... whatever you call it. Empty tent. Okay. Now, if I look very carefully, I don't really see any right now, you might be able to see some purple on these fractal cactuses or whatever they're called. And if you do, that means you can harvest them for their, their stuff. What do we got here? Sweet and savory. Not really looking for that. 
Uh, bee juice. Okay, honey. I guess he might have some water skins while we're at it. Smoke lounge. They almost always have like 800 smoke lounges and nothing else. It's whew, spicy foods. Mm -hmm. Well, while we're here, we can go ahead and trade for uh, all that stuff has honey in it, huh? Okay. I was gonna say we could trade for some water skins, but mm. in fact, let's just do some consolidation while we're at it. Let's go ahead and disassemble this. There we go. Do some trading runs. Actually, this is one of the easiest ways to gain power. Or into another container, into that one with honey. Boom, okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to actually trade for his small amounts of honey. Get the water skins, right? Uh, 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 there we go. We'll get two of those. Actually, we'll just get all three of these here. And trade it for two water skins of cider. Boom. I'll lose out a little bit of money, but we're actually carrying a ton of money right now anyway. So getting a little bit less money is not going to hurt us that bad in the long run. More importantly, we can combine all our honey together and to uh, pour into another container. Bam. Perfect. Pour into another container. Bam. Perfect. Pour into another container. Bam. Perfect. Pour into another container. And that's all we can fit. Okay. So now we have three new water skins and a full water skin of honey. We can also trade for the two wine ones and the cider one we already have to anyone else that we might need money from. Like we can push them from this person here. Severed a Vittle. Okay. Man, I want to buy this book. It might be nice. I also have a lot of a lot of water skins here for cheap, actually. Comparative to what their total value might be. In fact, I could probably just trade for some of these Kodazu Bless stems. Uh... Yonder cane is pretty good. Mm. And beaded bracelets, I guess. There you go, boom. Copper nuggets. Severed Vittle as well. Offer. Boom, 81 drams. Not a whole lot of water, actually, for what we're doing here. You also have to learn this book. Broth on top of smoked, smothered bear jerky and salt. One drop of salt, one serving of bear jerky. Guaranteed to be tasty if eaten while hungry. T plus 10 and 15% max HP. Nice. So we learned a book. More importantly, we can take this book and trade it off to someone else. Okay, there's got to be some fruits here, right? Ah, oh, there's one. You can see it right there, right? Ow. Harvest. Nice. Fruits apparently do not grow back, so what we've taken is going to be taken permanently and never come back, which, which sucks. That's okay. More importantly, we can actually use this here to... Oh, what's this? Spooky soup and mince balm inside of a donut. What is this? Intimidate. Plus two levels in freezing rain and can't use Intimidate. Well, <laughs> seems pretty handy. Preserve your fresh foods. Spine fruit jam is going to be very valuable in the lo in trading. So we're, you know, we're really into right now. Gonna be going into a big old trading quest, I think. Actually, go ahead and harvest this while we're at it. Boom! Like a quick, like you know, survey of the area. See what we can trade. Ow! Who, who, and what we can trade with? Why now? And maybe make a few, few bucks on the side while we're at it. Eh? Ow! Now, most of my, most of my knowledge of plant life and everything else is based off the wiki that I read a lot too like lot, not too long ago. There is two different wikis. One is by like Wikia, whatever it is. It's not very good actually. And there's another one that is not called not called the official one, but it's actually ten times better. Because it at least for my purposes, because it provides me with images I can actually use. <laughs> Grape Witch Brew, huh? You have lead slugs, okay. I'll give you a dram of water for some Nah, uh, you know what, never mind. Not worth it. Nothing here, huh? Look around a little bit. B makes spine fruit jam. We should be able to sell the spine fruit jam for a good chunk of cash. So long as we're not, like, you know, doing anything dumb. Harvest. We've got some harvestables here. Go ahead and harvest that one. Nice. And that one. 
that one. We are making money here right now. It may not seem like it. I mean, it seems like we're just like wandering around and grabbing fruits, but these fruits are valuable. Because warp up and rest, huh? Because they actually, when turned to jam, are worth quite a bit more than when they're just pure, well, spine fruit. Don't know why, just, they are. Something just happened over there. What's going on? Oh, slugs. Ick slug. Uh, torch conch. They're just spinning out slime, I guess. And what is this? It is a smoke lounge, huh? Grape witch brew. A lot of, a lot of, like, grape vendors here. <sighs> So I can sell these water skins of wine for all of your water skins of wine. Essentially. Yeah, this big old bag of honey, I guess, would work too. Oh, actually, he's actually caught driving me way too much of these. So just the small bags of wine are probably going to be worth it. Yeah, there we go, Bo. Even though not that much. Pour into another container. Boom, 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 boom. And there. There we go. We're going to go ahead and leave his establishment. Go right here. And take out some of this salt. Like so. And pour that nearby. Boom. There we go. Brackish slime. Take some more salts, pour it nearby, boom, yeah. More salts, pour it nearby, boom. <laughs> and I can pour a little salt on that, I mean slime on that too. Pour it nearby, boom, boom, boom. A little bit more, pour it nearby, boom. Okay. Now we've got a lot of water, a lot of other things, but not a lot of anything else. Find quickness, regeneration, freezing ray. Heightened quickness sounds really use useful. Okay, so. What we're going to do now is go for the traveling skills. Allows me to make wayfaring, mine's compass, double chance of getting your bearings from lost. There's a chance of getting lost by 15%. You want to make sure that we can't get lost on, on general wandering as well as the salt dunes. Because getting lost in the salt dunes, for me... At this point in the game, is probably going to be death. Like, probably. Cover your frail heads. The helmet, huh? Hello. Nothing of value. Okay. Oh. By combining salt with slime, you can get rid of it. Because you saw that the slime has kind of disappeared now that we put salt on it. Yeah, naturally, it'll just kind of accrue salt over time. But, ow. The salt just kind of treated as omnipresent, so you don't really have to worry about it being there. Uh, harvest. There we go. Nice. There's an endless field of these here. Cool. Need that. Now, you can actually pick through these without getting hurt if you're friends with the vines or something like that. One, one of the plant, you know, ones. Okay, they've got a better look at what's going on here. This is sort of like crab or something over here? Fire ant. Oh. I haven't fought one of those before. I don't think I'm going to look forward to it if I do. There we go. We got anything else to harvest here? Answer is no. We're just going to go ahead and leave and move on to the next area. We're hopefully hope looking for a book binder or something of the sort. So that way you can make some money and not worry too much about you know... Oh, Slime is slip slipping around. A lot of slugs here. That's kind of a pain. Arcan Arcanaut. Bloody Arcanaut. What is that over there? It is a high dervish in, of the Sightless Way and Mechamist, Mechamist Convert. Psionic pl Flawless Pale... Wow, they have some really good stuff. I wonder if they could trade anything. Do they have anything to spare? Hey. Hey, you got anything to spare? No? no? You got anything to spare? No. Darn it. Okay. Let's see what we got. Head down. Ow. Harvest this. Harvest. There we go. Perfect. 
Just walk through here, I guess. Take the damage, harvest it. Uh, that is a smoke lounge. And that over here is a mint smoke and wine. Another smoke lounge. Uh, there's going to be a ton of smoke lounges, as far as I can tell. Sweet and savory, huh? Hey, what you got? A bunch of water skins, as far as I can tell. Take all of them. <laughs> I think I can sell. I need to go to a. I probably need to get just get rid of my weight here, and sell copper nuggets. We don't need these. Offer, yes, boom. Okay. Well, I think copper nuggets are actually more useful as is. Let's go ahead and take one of these while we're at too. Boom. That copper nuggets are actually more useful than water because they are. They are lighter weight. Then water is, as, as water is worth, well, one per dram of water is worth one pound. But at, well, four drams of water is one pound, so a copper nugget, which is worth ten drams of water, is only one pound as well. Meaning it's probably that more valuable there. Glover is useless to us, unfortunately. As we cannot wear gloves, there's no point in going to a Glover. Unless you just love gloves, I guess. A G lover, you know what I mean? <laughs> mm, I don't kind of, a, a, I'm kind of annoyed that we're not finding a bookbinder anywhere. That's okay. Disguised? Is that a mimic? It might be a mimic. In fact, if it is, I really do not want to get anywhere near that because it might grab me anyway. Oh, it's an oil weep. Well, I mean, oily slimth. Oh well, um. Don't mind if I collect some of this? Thanks. Iron Lock Sword. Hmm. Okay, wait, what what is this? Oh, it's a smoke lounge with a with a uh, with a weep in it. That's weird, okay. Another food stuff. There's so many food places around here. All foods, no, no fun. <laughs> All foods and smoking, I guess. Heck, man, where, where's like the books? I need to learn. I need to learn the knowledge of the universe. What do we got? It is a data disks. Okay, that's gonna be handy. Let's see what we got. We have combustion cells, plasma can, a water skin. Let's buy the water skin while we're at it. Boom. Mm, drum loaded. Check it. Checked. Drum loaded up useful, but a drum loaded musket sounds kind of weird and wrong. <laughs> Not sure if it'll even work that way. Anyway, schematics. Here's a schematic for you. Metered. Mm. Not much else here so far. Actually, you know what? It's been about three and a half. It's been about half an hour here. We might want to call it a quits real quick. I'll probably keep exploring the the six day stilt and make our runs across the desert to. Cash in all that sweet, sweet weeps, huh? <laughs> You'll find out what's going on after that. And next episode, huh? Bye-bye.